two weeks ago, I posted on Twitter my home screen setup for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, and a lot of people really liked it, so I thought I'd do a video on what's on my phone for this giant device. I'll keep it real with you guys, I don't have a crazy setup with a ton of widgets, but I do think my home screen looks beautiful. I was going for a bright and fun theme, so drop a thumbs up if I nailed it. Also, if you guys like to see a detailed review of the Note 20 Ultra, click the eye in the top right corner. It'll still be there after you finish watching the video. And also, shout out to wirelessplace.com for sending me the Note 20 Ultra so I can make videos with it. Make sure to check out the website if you're looking to purchase an unlocked smartphone. They sell Samsung, Huawei, OnePlus, Xiaomi, and Honor phones at a much lower price than the manufacturer. I'll drop a link in the description. So I usually start my setups by showing off what is on my launcher, but this time around with the Note, I wanted to show you a new modification that recently got added to the Good Luck 2020 app. If you don't know what Good Luck is, it's basically an app created by Samsung. Inside, you'll find a library filled with apps that allow you to adjust almost anything in the One UI interface. You can only download it off the Galaxy Store, and there is now a new edition called Pentastic. It's specifically made for Galaxy Note users because it'll allow you to customize any S Pen feature. So for example, I can change the look of the air command menu. I can also choose a new sound for when I pull the pen out and I can change the pointer. You can even select a custom picture from your library to be the pointer icon. So now whenever I hover my S Pen over the screen, I made it so my logo pops up. How's that for customization? Within Pentastic, you can also choose a double tap shortcut to open any S Pen feature or app, but I never enabled this option because I can see myself accidentally toggling it. Jumping back to the home screen, I'm usually using Hyperion Launcher because I can't really stand One UI Home. It's missing a ton of options that most other launchers have, such as support for icon packs. The grid size only goes up to 5x6, which is pretty small considering the size of the screen. And I would much rather have a vertical scrolling app drawer than a horizontal one. Luckily, One UI 2.5 now allows you to use Samsung's new gesture navigation when switching to a third party launcher. Before, it wasn't supported. So once I found that out, I was like, see ya, One UI Home. So there's no huge reason why I'm choosing to use Hyperion Launcher over Nova or Launcher 2. It's just that Hyperion Launcher provides a lot more frequent updates. On the other hand, Nova Launcher never really gets any huge updates anymore and Launcher 2 hasn't been updated since June. Within the Hyperion Launcher settings, I didn't change much. I set the desktop grid to 6x8 and the drawer to 5x7 to show off more apps on a single page. I've also changed the accent color to a dark blue and I made the overall theme turn to black. I made the icon shape square so every app and folder can match the icon pack that I'm using. For the Google search widget on the dock, I turned it into a rounded rectangle to match the same search widget found within the new Android 11 Pixel launcher. I've also installed Hyperion Dock, which is an app that enables the Google Discover panel on the leftmost screen. I made a few other modifications within the launcher settings, but I'll leave a link in the description so you can download my profile manager and apply it quickly. Moving on to the juicy part, the icon pack that I'm using is called Squared Icon Pack. It costs a dollar to install, but it looks great with this wallpaper and my widgets. The colors are pastel themed and shine bright to make every icon pop. To top it off, this pack supports over 1900 icons. So most of your apps in your app drawer will get themed. For the background, I grabbed it from a wallpaper app called Collections. The wallpaper that I grabbed from Collections is called Bow, and the reason I chose it is because the stacked pillars in the wallpaper are squared and colorful, just like my icons on my home screen. The giant blue canvas does a great job of not distracting me from my widgets. There's not a lot going on in the background. It keeps it fun and simple, just the way I like it. Of course, within the Collections app, there are various other options with the same theme of keeping the background simple and modern. And with the developer updating the app consistently, you'll never get tired of the same old walls. For the widgets, I only have two of them, one on the main screen and another to the right that fills up the entire page. Both of these require you to have three specific apps installed, KWGT Custom Widget Maker, KWGT Custom Widget Pro Key, and the actual widget pack called Finesta KWGT, costing $1.49 but I'll be giving away 50 promo codes on my Twitter and Instagram at HowToMen, so make sure to follow me there. Thanks to the developers. It's a widget pack that just got released and it comes with 40 different widgets to choose from. I'm not gonna lie, there are a good amount of widgets within Finesta that I'm not a fan of, but a small majority of them are really fire. The one on my home screen is named widget number four, and it displays a ton of information in a light and compact manner. It tells you the date, your next calendar event, the current weather forecast, and the time down at the bottom. If you also didn't notice, the cards are squared to match the overall squares theme on my home screen. I also made a few modifications to the widget within its KWGT settings. Firstly, the bottom box had a gray shading that I wasn't too fond of, so I just removed it. I also made it so that when I tap on the pink box, it will open the Google Calendar app. 
Tapping on the box below that launches my weather app called Appy Weather. It's just one of the best weather apps you can install on your phone. And for the time at the corner bottom, I made it to launch the clock app. The widget on the next screen is also a widget from the Finesta app. It's widget number one, and it also gives you a ton of information. The top section is a music player with music controls, track info, and a live seek bar. Below that is the weather and date. And down at the bottom, you get some device info like RAM and CPU usage and the battery level. I also modified this widget a bit by making every card open the appropriate app. Other than that, I left the design of the widget by itself. For the dock, I just have my phone, messages, camera, Gmail, and Google Chrome app. Then I have two folders up top. The left one holds all of my most used Google apps, and then the folder on the right contains all of my social apps. And that's everything on my home screen. I'll make sure to include every app that I discussed in the description. Lastly, I wanted to go over all of my favorite apps that I use on my phone. I know some of you are excited because as you know, I am an app addict. <laughs> but before I show off what's in my app drawer, I want to thank Dbrand for sponsoring this video. Dbrand is the best website that sells skins and cases so that you can customize your phone and make it a lot more personal. On my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, I'm currently rocking their matrix texture for a professional and clean look. Since the Note 20 Ultra black model has a glass back, it was a huge fingerprint magnet and it was also really slippery. So by using a Dbrand skin, it got rid of the fingerprints and it gave the device a bit more grip. I know some people are also scared of dropping the Note 20 Ultra and cracking it since it's so huge. So I definitely recommend you pick up a grip case if you're looking for that extra protection. Plus you can customize it and it gets rid of the huge camera bump on the back. Lastly, Dbrand just collaborated with PewDiePie on a limited edition skin and mask. It's got those classical red and black waves and it looks really dope. It's only available for a few days, so don't hold back. Go to dbrand.com slash howtomen and check out their selections now. Anyways, let's talk about those apps. The first is Ampere. It's an app that measures the charging and discharging current of my battery. It's perfect for when I want to check the charging speed of any charger. Next, since I install a ton of apps from apkmirror.com, I like to use APK Mirror Installer to split the APKs easily and only install what's necessary from the APK so I can save a bit of space on my device. Like I said before, Appy Weather is my favorite weather app because it gives you the forecast and a timeline and it tells you the weather in a conversation-like format. It's way better than having a bunch of numbers thrown all over the screen. Castro will tell you everything you need to know about your phone in a beautiful manner, including what type of software and hardware your phone has. Cleanfox lets me delete and unsubscribe from newsletters or spam emails. I don't know any other app that cleans your inbox faster. Dashlane is my preferred password manager. Daywise is a great way to stop unwanted notifications. It will only show me important notifications instantly, while every other unimportant notification gets shown in batches throughout the day. Download Progress Plus Plus shows a progress bar on the edge of my screen whenever I download or upload something. That way I don't need to be checking my notification panel to find out the progress. And Dell is my favorite soundscape app since it helps me stay focused and relax. It plays relaxing sounds for however long I'd like. Fluid is my favorite torrent manager. It's simple, material, and has no speed limits. Go 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 is a great game to play with your friends since it gives you fun and simple challenges which you can all compete in. Instamox lets you wrap your screenshots with pixel perfect device mockups, and you can even edit the background immensely. Pro Screens is the ultimate app for anyone who loves to customize their phone. It shows you all the latest icon packs, wallpaper apps, or KWGT widgets. It even has some fantastic home screen setups that you can try and replicate. Relay Pro is my go-to Reddit client. Smashy Road Wanted 2 is a fun little action game that I play from time to time. It won't keep me there for hours, but it helps me get my mind off things when I'm stressed. The White Door is also another game that I just got into. It's a puzzle game with a really great storyline. It's hard to explain why it's so good, but just take my word for it. To track all of my packages easily, I use Shop. You just need to sign into your email, and just like that, all of my shipments and past shipments are shown to me. Last but not least, I love using Beta Maniac to easily join the beta programs in my apps and know when a limited number beta program opens back up. Anyways, that's everything on my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Obviously, I use other popular apps like Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, etc. But I'm sure you don't want me to mention those type of apps. Either way, that's it for this video. Please drop your thumbs up if you enjoyed and get subscribed with the notification bell turned on. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter or Instagram at HowToMen for a chance at winning those promo codes that I discussed earlier. Make sure to also check out dbrand.com slash HowToMen to get some amazing skins or customizable cases. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Kapow!